Hello, and welcome to your business analysis course. Today we will explore what business analysis is and look at what a business analyst does. There are a lot of definitions of business analysis, but if we talk in simple words, it's the systematic investigation of business in terms of its goals, objectives, and processes. As far as the role of a business analyst is concerned, there are services in the business analysis framework and a business analyst carries out either some or all of those services. As we know that certain factors have led to the development of business analysis. Let's have a look at these one by one. Now let's review the elements that are helped develop business analysis. There are three main elements. The first outsourcing. Outsourcing is defined as the process in which the services are provided by an external source rather than being provided by an internal source such as the staff. For example, many organizations outsource their softwares and IT operations from foreign countries. Second is the competitive advantage of IT. In any business sector, development is driven by need of the business. For instance, if an IT system is being implemented, a business will also change accordingly and will eventually adapt to those changes. Third is the need for having business analysts as internal consultants. Business analysts believe that they can provide the same service being provided by external consultants by operating rather as an internal consultant. This benefits the organization as it costs less and can be quickly applied to a project because internal analysts have a better knowledge of the organization. The fourth element is the business change life cycle, which affects the development of the business analyst role. Business change life cycle can be defined as an overview of the sequence of stages to be carried out while analyzing, developing and delivering business changes. The diagram shows the stages of the business change life cycle. The business case needs to be managed throughout the business change life cycle. Each time a request for change arises, it is important to review the business case to ensure that it is still valid. The next stage is alignment stage, which is concerned with ensuring the organization's objectives and strategy are aligned with the external business world. Definition stage deals with taking a closer look at a proposed business situation in order to uncover root causes of problems. Design stage covers the detailed specification, development, and testing of the solution and includes the business processes as well. Implementation stage involves planning and preparation for the deployment of business changes. Realization stage is the final stage which reviews the predicted business benefits. Now let's look at the principles of business analysis. When we review a business problem, the key principle is to look at the root cause rather than the symptoms. The second key principle is an overall business improvement rather than changing the IT system entirely, which means enabling the IT systems for more business opportunity and problem resolution. The third key principle is negotiation rather than avoidance. This means being able to understand conflicting stakeholder views and requirements and enable negotiations. The fourth key principle is to consider options rather than solutions in order to challenge predetermined solutions and identify and evaluate options for meeting business needs. In the next lesson, we will look at the competencies of a business analyst.